In today's video, we're going to take a look at the new reporting screen in Xero. If you're like me, it's February 2022. You may have logged into Xero in the last week, gone to accounting, gone to reports and thought, what's going on? What's happened? This looks completely different. So in this video, we're going to head into Xero and I'm going to talk you through what's different, what's new on the reporting screen. And I'm also going to help you if you're a bit like me and you still like some of the old versions, the old cell reports, I'm going to show you how to find them. But I think it is worthwhile saying that I don't expect that these old reports will remain forever. So it's probably a good idea to start getting more familiar with the new style reports, being more comfortable with them, relying a little bit less on the old versions. So let's head into Xero, take a look at the new screen and we'll see what it's all about. Before we do, it would be great if you like the video and if you've not already subscribed, if you subscribe to the channel. It really helps me to continue creating these videos on a regular basis. Okay, we're on our dashboard. We're going to choose accounting and we're going to choose reports from the drop down menu. And as we can see, it does look a little bit different to before. These headers at the top are exactly the same and we still have a search option if we want to find a report. So I would say that's a good idea at this stage. If you come in here and you're a little bit lost, just use the search to find the report that you're looking for. The first section at the top is going to be any reports that you have favorited. So if you've marked something with a blue star, it's going to appear up here. And these reports, when we go to accounting, are the ones that are going to appear on the drop down without having to choose reports and then select them. So these are my favorites. As we know, there are old style or old version reports and new version reports in Xero. If you look at the balance sheet here, you can see that I've got a favourite for both of them. This is the new style and I've also got a favourite that is the old version. You'll also notice that for the profit and loss account and the trial balance, I'm still using the old version. So it's not going to be difficult for me to find them because they are my favourites. But what if I wanted an old version of a report? and I wasn't sure where it is. So we will take a look at how to do that, but let's just take a quick look at what the screen looks like first. We have this option here to show description. So if we need an explanation of what the reports are all about, we can add a description. If we're quite familiar with the reports, we can remove that. It just means that the screen is now a little bit more compact. If we're careful when we hover over an account name, and it's not that easy, but bear with me, we can see the description. So here's the headers for the reports and they are a little bit different to what they were before. They're in alphabetical order. So we've got financial performance and then financial statements. We no longer have sales and purchases separately. We now have payables and receivables together. We've got payroll, so again, alphabetical order. We've got payable, then followed by payroll. We've got reconciliations taxes and balances and transactions. So let's assume that I'm looking for an old style report and it's age receivable. So if we come to age receivable summary, if I head over to the right hand side, click on the three dots, I can still go to an older version of this report. So if I want the new version, I just click on it here and there's the new version that we're familiar with. If I wanted the old version, it would be the three dots and then choose the older version here. Again, the old version that we're quite familiar with. If we have reports, let me just find one. And this says new. Now, this doesn't mean new version. This just means this is a very new report in Xero. So we can see we've got a couple of reports that really are new in Xero, whereas all the others will be the new style rather than the old style report. So that is the new reporting screen in Xero. Like anything, probably a little bit daunting the first time you look at it, but all the reports are still there and you can still access the old ones. But I am going to repeat, 
it would make a lot of sense to start getting used to the new styles, the new versions, because I don't expect that the old versions will be here forever. I hope you found the video useful. Remember, if you need any help with your zero, get in touch. You can contact me. It's marian at xuacademy.com and I do offer bespoke training, one-to-one -one training for anybody who needs help with their zero account. And until next time, happy zeroing.